Well, it is a cold, horrible, rainy day here in Brisbane. But luckily, we've got something on this weekend. We've got the Electric Dreams Expo. I haven't been to one of these before. It could even be their first time doing the Expo here in Queensland. So I thought we'd go along. Let's check it out. Let's see how they do it. Let's see if they do a good job. There's going to be a few different PEV companies there. Scooters, electric skateboards. Something I'm really interested in, a brand new electric motorbike by a company called Savic. I think I'm saying that right. It's quite expensive but it has been on my radar for the last few months. Super excited to actually go and see one and sit on one. They also have electric cars. I'm hoping there'll be the new Polestar. Looks really cool. It's like an alternative to the Tesla. But let's go in, let's find out. First things first, they get top marks. It's undercover, thank God. Rainy day, undercover really really nice now it's still quite early we're getting in a little bit early so it's not going to be super busy or oh, let that light adjust there we go that's better it's not super busy straight off the bat we've got some really cool looking e-bikes and e-scooters really nice EV cars down there we've got the cool e-motorbikes and so on I'm really looking forward to actually trying out or at least sitting on some e-bikes today now Evolver's here they've got their electric combi uh, and yeah can't wait to go and see and see what everyone's got but let's go for a walk around first let's get the lay of the land and then we might talk to a few people and try a few different things so I've just found the Polestar in the middle of the room it's probably I would say the nicest looking exhibit here so Let's go have a quick look. Okay, so unfortunately the queue for the Polestar was just a little bit too long and I have no patience, so we just got a couple of shots of it. It is a beautiful car. The designer is actually the ex-head designer from Volvo. Um, it comes in a couple of different models. You've got single motor, dual motor, Big battery, normal battery, uh, 450 kilometers range or 550 kilometers range on one charge. And it just looks nice. When you look at it and you look at the angles, you can definitely tell uh, it's been designed from someone who has been involved with Volvo. It's got some real Volvo looking lines. It's just nice and sharp and, and really cleanly made. So, well, it's still on the list to be honest. We do need to buy a new car soon and uh, it could definitely be in the garage if I don't spend all my money on the Savic motorbike, which I'm about to go and find right now. Okay, so I just had a really nice surprise. I was on my way to the Savic stand and I actually bumped into the other bike which I've been looking at, which is the MKD. Oh, NKZ, NKD, NKD from a company called Fonz in Sydney. Now I've seen this, this bike's been out for about a year now, fully electric. And I was always worried because I never saw one in person. I thought it looked a little bit small, but now that I've seen it, I really like it. And these aren't expensive. Well, they're not cheap, but they start at about Really nice surprise to see the NKD here. Much, much bigger frame than I expected. I've seen the videos and it looked small. I don't know if the rider looked tiny or what, but and me at six foot, I can actually sit on it really comfortably. So there could be one of these bikes in my very near future, which I'm really excited about. Now we're gonna pop over here and look at the Savic motorbike. There's their stand, as you can see. Now, very, very no frills stand because I think the bike is gonna speak for itself. When I show you this bike, you'll probably fall in love with it.
And now this is a solar car, which was built, I think, by teenagers or kids. You see, here it comes, there it goes. Very cool, very, very cool. And besides the motorbikes, this is probably the next most exciting thing I've come to see. This is the flight board. These things have been around now for, I don't know, about 12 months. They've got a few different ones on display. Now, this is your electric, basically your electric hydrofoil. Massive, massive batteries. I think the biggest one is a 40 amp hour, a 52 volt system, single prop, hydrofoil underneath, and these things are sexy. As I said, two different battery configurations, a smaller battery and a bigger battery. You get about an hour and a half riding out of this thing. Hour and a half of doing this. Apparently anyone can do it, you just need to practice. It takes a little bit of time. So we're going to try to hook up with the guys uh, up here in Queensland when it gets a little bit warmer and we're going to take one out. I'm going to learn to ride one of these. I reckon I can. What do you think? So I just got a little bit of bad news from the Savic motorbike guys. Their delivery time frame is 2024. They've been so successful, the pre-production's already sold out. The second run, I believe, is already sold out. 2024, if I order today, and they're already getting orders, so that 2024, if I don't order now, will probably become 2025, unfortunately. That's the Savic there. Awesome, awesome bike, but that timeline for me just doesn't work. I want a bike now, unfortunately. I'm, I'm like a big kid, I have no patience. So, the NKD is 12 week turnaround. So, 12 weeks, we can custom order one of these in different colors, carbon fiber bits, different motors, different handlebars, you name it. We can customize almost anything on the bike. Different racks. Nice rack. It looks pretty cool. Now they start from about $10,000 and they go up to, I think, $16,99. That's like the big range with the 150 kilometer range and so on. So I think that thing, that thing, is following that guy. I think. That is the end. We are going to leave uh, Electric Dreams. A little bit, oh, it's super bright out here. A little bit, a um, little bit disappointed. I was expecting more PEVs, to be honest. Not so much mattresses and other things. I don't know. Standouts were definitely NKD, uh, Savic motorbikes. The Amp Bros had an awesome stand. They were doing a co-collab with another one. This guy on the microphone is doing my head in. Really like the flight board. I'm gonna 100% try one of these flight boards. I'm gonna go down to Byron Bay. That's where their headquarters is. And we're gonna um, do our best to get on one and learn to ride it. The NKD guys, I've just had a chat to them. We're gonna try to work out a demo day. Um, I believe they're gonna leave. There's one over there. They're gonna leave it here. They're gonna lend it to me for a couple of days to go out and ride it, film it for the channel. And hopefully it's as good as it looks because it looks spectacular. Guys, I hope you've enjoyed this real quick look around Electric Dreams Expo here in Brisbane, Australia. I'd give it a solid six and a half out of 10. Next year, if they do this again next year, I really hope we see more PEVs, unicycles, more skateboard brands. You know, I think we need to involve the global brands to get involved into these sorts of things. You know, loads of scooters, so many electric scooters. Now, that's not a bad thing, but that's just not my cup of tea. So, all right guys, thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to skate safe, wear a helmet, and we'll see you on the next video when it stops raining. Scotty. Oh, Scotty.